My name is Sean. I'm the lead for Social Tech at Uno Technologies. Uno Technologies being all about connecting you to global technology so that you can connect better with your consumers. If you're interested in any of our tech solutions, feel free to click on the link below to book a free consultation for you and your business. Today, we are going to be looking at Brandwatch's shiny new integration with OpenAI. Brandwatch, of course, being leaders in AI technology in the MarTech space over many years to help build smart workflows and features that help you save time and resources when it comes to your online data. And this chat GPT integration is just one more step towards that goal of reducing the time to insight to better inform your strategy for your brand. On the screen here, we are looking at a dashboard around the Hollywood Bets Durban July 2023. And what I'd like to show you guys is just one use case of where you might use the OpenAI integration. So this is a manifestation, I should almost call this an improvement on the current Iris technology that is built into the platform already. Iris, of course, is our virtual data analyst and it helps us understand what is driving peaks in volume, whether it's a hashtag or a popular tweet or a link that is being shared quite often. And what this open AI integration does is over and above understanding this, we actually have more context and themes behind those conversations as well. So let's perhaps click on a data point early on in the year, end of March, leading up to the Durban July. And we can easily summarize those mentions by just clicking on this button that says summarize mentions. And in the conversation of the Durban July, we can see here an announcement of the theme of the Durban July, which is hashtag out of this world ZA. We can also see influencers and ambassadors being identified here. In this case, it's Yezi Star, which is one of those virtual or digital influencers. Quite an interesting one. Of course, that fashion and outfit conversation is already happening early in March. People are just generally excited excited and, and anticipating this year's installment of the Jer Durban July. And then lastly, we can also see some mentions around the actual sponsor and organizers of the event being Hollywood Bets themselves. Skipping ahead, going to the actual day that the event happened on, once again, clicking on summarize mentions. And of course, it's safe to understand or to assume that the actual Durban July mentions of the Durban July was the most prominent conversation of the day. We can see those mentions of celebrities and public figures mingling with the crowds as well as that all present fashion and outfit conversation. But interestingly here we start seeing some other conversations coming into place like for instance in the financial and political space there are mentions of Julius Malema being spotted around the event sporting what seems to be an expensive watch as well as other controversies and issues mainly focusing around load shedding which the Durban July seems to have not been safe from either causing some chaos and cancellations during the event and then of course understanding the conversation post event which as you can see here was quite low but yet we can still summarize those mentions and in this case going on near the end of July we can see that the event itself was still being mentioned however there's a slightly more negativity happening here as people were saying they lost money during the event, presumably through betting. We can also see people are saying this was a long month in that metaphorical way of putting it. The fashion conversation was still happening. But also, interestingly, there was a python, a snake on the loose during the event. And this conversation was still happening many weeks after the actual event. And that's just one way of understanding the sort of full conversation around the Durban July. This can manifest in many different ways, whether it's your own brand, a specific campaign or an event that you are using. Any data point within a dashboard can be analyzed using OpenAI. And with that, thank you very much for attending my session. As I mentioned, if you'd wish to book a demo, please do so using the link below. And we're looking forward to talking to you.